Hello again, everybody. Dr. Leo Cool here, and I was just doing a little bit of coloring. You see, this sort of thing is popular with adults as well as young people. It's been a hot second for me since I did this, and I just remembered how much I enjoy doing it. Today, I'm going to talk all about crayons. Welcome to Dr. Cool's Fun School. Crayons, or sometimes called wax pastel, is a stick of colored wax, charcoal, chalk, or other material. Plus, bonus for the happy smell. The good old crayon is kind of old, but its history is about as clear as a brown crayon. Like most items discussed in this show, the origins are ancient. The idea of combining wax with a colored pigment goes back thousands of years. Folks would take hot beeswax and combine it with a colored pigment to bound color into a stone. Now, the word crayon dates back to 1644 and it comes from Latin for chalk and earth. Now, the first time the word crayon was mentioned in literature was in the famous book Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. What the darn? Anywho, the crayon became worldly popular and at one point there were 300 different crayon manufacturers alone. This does not surprise me because the average child wears down 720 crayons by the time they turn 10. Now, the biggest crayon ever created was in 2003 by the folks of Crayola Crayon. Ever heard of them? They were celebrating their 100th anniversary and asked their clients from all over the world to send in their blue leftolas. This is a scientific term meaning leftover blue crayon. With the help of 123,000 crayons sent in, Crayola created a giant blue crayon that weighed 1,500 pounds and that was 15 feet long. That's nothing! You should have seen the size of the coloring book. Speaking of coloring, I'm done with my latest project. Pretty sweet! I'm Dr. Leo Cool, and I'll see you next time on Dr. Cool's Fun School.